Hey, welcome back. If you uh, are the Pentatonics, if you are a Pentatonics fan and that's what you uh, watched my videos for, uh, welcome. It's me. I still love Pentatonics. All right. Let's just say this. We're in a different uh, point in my life when it comes to Pentatonics, for sure. I think the whole community kind of is. When I first discovered them almost 10 years ago, I uh, got immediately fell down the rabbit hole and was hooked. The craze was at an all-time high. And uh, I made an effort to, of course, listen to every album, every new song, every video. I was reacting to all of it at the time, catching up to stuff I hadn't seen, uh, watching the new stuff, listening to the new stuff as it came out. And then after 2016, I would make an effort to see them concert for each one if I could and I pretty much kept that up for years I, I maintained seeing them in concert every time I think I just missed one last year but in the couple of years since I've been doing videos on this channel I have still seen them a couple times that I never talked about which does annoy me because I, I made a point through all my years of doing videos to make a video talking about each concert experience with Pentatonix and those two I did not. There's the one which was way back when a couple years ago now where I was I went with my now girlfriend it wasn't my girlfriend at the time and um, so that was one like a pre-date date situation and then a year after that I believe is when I took my family to see them for, uh, I had taken them one time before, but then I took my family along with my girlfriend for a, a Christmas concert, and it was really good. Of course, they're both really good, as always. Never really any complaints. Like, there's always minor things, like maybe one song, not not what I expected or not my favorite, but all in all, it's an excellent concert experience every time you see them live. But yeah. I didn't get to talk about them at the time because I wasn't doing videos. And they're not really something you can talk about a year or two years after the fact. Because <laughs> it's really something you need fresh in the moment. Your your take. To, or the recollection for that. But in a couple years since I've talked about Pentatonix. I first off do want to apologize because I left off having not finished the Evergreen album doing the reactions I said I would do reactions to all the songs. I had recorded reactions to all the songs. But it was literally like I had, I had binged a bunch of them right before I was about to see the concert. Because I wanted to get them done before. And it felt kind of half-hearted when I was doing a couple of them. Not the best reactions. So I wasn't super inspired to get them out immediately. And then I fell into my whole extended indefinite hiatus. So they never saw the light of day. And by the time I came back, it didn't really make sense one way or another to post them. And, yeah, I just hate leaving things unfinished like that. It's never how I like to do things. <clears throat> but, yeah, Evergreen, Evergreen was pretty good. And then, since then, they've had just Holidays Around the World, which was an interesting album I thought was quite fun really cool how they brought in international artists and it was like actually yeah around the world holiday style i thought it was a really cool idea fun concept that was executed well and then they did what was it called the greatest christmas hits which they released the end of last year um which was like a compilation album um which again i always took issue with with them is combining all these old ones um, the, I will say about that though, is that they added some really stellar tracks and like, I loved the tracks they added. So that's my biggest takeaway from that is I loved their newer tracks in there that they added like Kiss from a Rose, which like Scott even joked about at the time, not really a Christmas song. They were stretching. You find, they find every little lyric they can find to, to make something a Christmas song at this point because they've gone through so many. They did still do the stuff with the compilation albums where it's like they have 
a ton of songs that had featured artists, but they were like the songs that were primarily sung by the featured artists. So it's like, it's not really their greatest Christmas hits in my opinion, but they did have some of the, the most excellent ones as well. I was saying I was deep in the rabbit hole uh, years ago, but now it's a much more casual fan intake for me. I'm not as in tune with the community as I was before. Before that was like big part of my, my Twitter feed and all that. It feels like the community is just less active in general. But obviously I'm a, I'm a part of that too. I'm not like actively involved so I don't know to the fullest extent. But I still have a lot of love for all my friends that I met along the way. Even if I haven't talked to them recently. Um, I still cherish those memories. And all the people I've met through Pentatonix. Um, whether it be through the internet or literally in person at Pentacon was that 2018 six years ago at this point wow that was a fun time it was really special it was a special time in my life where I really just got to immerse myself in, in this fan base and an artist that I love and like-minded people it's really it was a beautiful thing to look back on it really is and all the communities I've been a part of and whatever way um that will always stand out to me of course and as they release new music and as i'm going to be more active on the channel of course i still want to talk about them but um yeah i just want to say that it's not like i'm leaving and i'll never talk about pentatonics again but just want to throw that out there since it has been a long lasting relationship between pentatonics as an artist me and the community at large so yeah, very appreciative of that. They gave me a lot of opportunities I wouldn't have had otherwise. Uh, literally pentatonic, so. But now I'm just waiting to see what comes next. I uh, would love a new album. Uh, their Christmas music is excellent. Of course, I'll take that every year if I can. But I would also love a new original. Like I don't know what their plans are. I really don't have a pulse. I don't have my finger on the pulse. Of like where they're at, where the the group is as a whole, like moving forward. It's just I, all I I see as someone who's like not religiously following the social media as much as I used to. Is just like we're on tour again. We're on tour again. That's all I see. Every year we're on tour. First of all, that's crazy. Like how much it's been like it has to have been like since they were formed. Pretty much every year they've been on tour. And Jesus, like, uh, it must be, like, the most lucrative th for them, for them, just to, like, constantly be touring. Because to me, I, I always thought, uh, whether it's now or, or a few years ago, I was like, maybe just give yourselves a break for a year. Or, like, either that or, like, focus on making music instead of, like, working yourselves to death. Because it just felt in unsustainable to me. But they're still doing it. They're still killing it. And every time I see them, it seems like they're still loving it. So, I don't know. Maybe I was wrong. But, uh, yeah, that's all I'm seeing. So, I don't really know like where it's at in terms of... Are they planning albums? Is it just Christmas stuff? Like, where are they at with original music and stuff like that? I don't know. But if you do know, I would love the intel. Um, if we've heard anything about any, any murmurs of... Um, Hashtag soon, you know, it's been a while since I've seen something like that. Yeah, so now we wait for new music. Now, I, I'm i leaving myself open to certain options in terms of covering previous music they've done. I'm tossing, I've been tossing around ideas for just the channel in general in terms of different ways I want to cover, whether it be reviews. I would like to do like album reviews and things like that. Primarily on new things that came come out, but I could definitely see myself doing like let's go back and review some older albums, maybe different rankings. I have ideas for different series of rankings I want to do for music in general, but Pentatonix could definitely be involved in that. So if we don't have a lot of new music coming out from them, I could still definitely work in ways of talking about them again. And I plan to have some fun, get creative with how I'm covering music. And talking about music on this channel again. And uh, it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. 
and any of you who are still around, I appreciate you. I do. I really do. Um, even just a few months ago when I said I was back and everything, I really appreciated the comments that I got just saying, hi, what's up? I love it. I love hearing from you and just know there's more on the way. And when Pentatonix releases new music, I still haven't let up. It's never been like I don't listen to their music. A new album drops, I listen to it every time, without hesitation. Uh, so that fan in me has never died. But I'm just not as dialed in as I was with with the fan base and with the artists. So let me know your thoughts below. Pentatonix in 2024, where are we at? And uh, 